Zone 3. Ang latest happenings are trending sa mundo ng entertainment and lifestyle of our favorite stars, local man or international, we've got you covered. Ito pa ang showbiz angel, Angelica Cosme, and welcome sa Season 3 ng Scene Zone. On today's episode of Scene Zone, taas kamay ng mga K-drama fans like me. Isa ka ba sa mga pinatawa o kaya na may pinaiyak ng South Korean actors na si Park Min Young sa mga karakter na kanyang ginampanan? Heto at balikan natin ngayong araw ang ilang kaganapan sa kanyang unang pagbisita sa bansa. Ang may brand new day in Manila press conference na binuksan din para sa fellow my beans na ginanap sa isang mall sa Taguig City bago ang kanyang fan meet sa New Frontier Theater. rom-com ng South Korea, ang 38-year-old award-winning actress na si Park Min Young. Sa kanyang halos dalawang dekadang pamamayagpag sa industriya, ilang serye na nga ang pinagbidahan itong hindi lamang sumikat sa Land of the Morning Kong, kundi maging sa iba't ibang panig ng mundo. Kabilang na nga rito sa Pinas. At kung hashtag throwback talaga tayo, matapos unang magpakitang gila sa commercial, nagsimula ang acting career ni Min Young ng mapabilang ito sa 2006 sitcom na Unstoppable High Kick. Grabe yung parang hindi tumanda ang aktres. Nakatambal din ito ang isa pang favorite ng mga Pinoy na si Lee Min Ho sa seryeng City Hunter noong 2011. Dito gumanap siya bilang Kim Nana, isang presidential bodyguard. Kung historical drama naman ang pag-uusapan, may entry din dyan si Min Young nang gumanap bilang Yoon Hee sa Sung Kyun Kwan scandal with Song Joong Ki. Kim Yoon Shikimida, pero nun ajit. Nagbuhay fangirl din ito nang bumida sa Roman series na Her Private Life. Muli din siyang nagbakilig ng makatambalang aktor na si Song Kang sa forecasting Love and Weather. <laughs> Siyempre, hindi mawawala ang reliable at hardworking secretary ni Lee Young Jun na si Kim May So sa hit drama na What's Wrong with Secretary Kim. Dito pinusuan ang kanilang chemistry ni PSJ Park So Jun. Kim Bisa! Dahil nga sa matinding success ng serye ito sa bansa, nagkaroon ito ng Philippine adaptation starring Paolo Abilino and Secretary Kim, Kim Chu. At ang pinakahuli ay ang revenge drama na Marry My Husband kasama si Nanay Mo at Sung Ha Yun kung saan bumida ito bilang Kang Ji Won na nakikipaglaban sa sakit na cancer. Ilan lamang yan sa mga seryeng pinagbidahan ni Min Young na talaga nga namang sinubaybayan ng maraming Filipino K-drama fans. Kaya naman, mas kilalanin pa natin ang aktres sa pamamagitan ng mga katanungang ibinito sa kanya ng media na kanya namang game na game na sinagot sa My Brand New Day in Manila Press Conference na dinagsarin ng My Beans. Welcome to the Philippines! Mahal kita, Park Min Sa bansa, may Filipino words sa ganitong natutunan tulad ng... Um, tutong ka? Tutong ka? Um, I used the word, I just learned recently. And I thought it's... So, yeah, I like the sound of it. It's so cute. Totoo ba? Yeah, in Korean, it, it means like a... You can see you again. So, it kind of means me. For sure, marami rin ang interesadong malaman ang secret ng aktres para ma-achieve ang kanyang glowy skin. I have like a very sensitive skin, so I try to drink a lot of water and, you know, keep my skin moist. And then, uh, what else? I put on a facial mask every day as well. And I try not to get too stressed but stay happy and that works. <laughs> At syempre, di natatapos sa skincare tips ang isa-share nito para sa kanyang fangirls. 
Ang actress may pa words of wisdom din sa kanyang fellow empowered women. Um, I think um, self-respect is the key word. Yeah, respect. She won from her mind with over overcome her weaknesses with his work. You know, so maybe we should have a self-respect always and don't forget to you know, have it in my mind. And then if you do that, you are more valuable than you think. Samantala, dumako naman ang usapan tungkol sa kanyang latest drama na Marry My Husband. Si Minyoung na very happy sa matinding tagumpay ng pinagbibidaang serye, nagpaabot ng pasalamat. What can I say? It was truly an amazing moment that to witness those, you know, great success. Not only in Korea, but, you know, also in different countries, many countries, so... Um, I was very grateful for everything and, you know, yeah, I'm so grateful. Ilan nga sa roles na ginampan na ni Minyong ay mula sa pagiging secretary, fangirl, water forecaster, hanggang sa isang mistreated wife. Kaya naman para daw sa susunod nito ang project, gusto niya yung something different mula sa kanyang previous characters. I didn't have that much opportunities to portray a, such a, like, a physical demanding character. So maybe it would be great if I have a chance to have a, you know, wild and raw affection in the next project to be completely different from my previous characters. At dahil nasa usapang roles na rin, ang aktres tila nahirapan at agad humirit akong pwede bang hindi lang isa ang kanyang isagot nang mausisa kung sino ano ang pinaka-memorable sa mga karakter na kanyang ginampanan. Do I have to pick one? <laughs> yes! <laughs> can I pick the uh, three list? Because, you know, I can write them. Okay, the first one is Yuni from Sungkyukang Scandal. And this is Kim Piso from Secretary for Washington. <laughs> and last but not least, she won for Where My Husband. <laughs> I had a hard time playing these characters, but it's so meaningful to me because you know they all motivated me to be better as an actor and as a human being also. So they are so memorable for me. Sa loob ng 20 years in show business, paano nga ba inaaral ng award-winning actress ang script? At ginagampana na panibagong karakter tuwing may bagong proyekto. I'm not obsessed with memorizing all the lines, but rather I picture myself in the scene in my head first, including the location, camera move, and emotions, atmosphere, and so on. Um, then the character development comes to naturally. In this way, I, I can you know, physically and mentally closer to my character I play profoundly. Ang rom-com queen na minado ang pinakakomportable tuwing gumagawa ng romantic comedy. Pero hindi yan ibig sabihin nito na mas madali itong gawin kumpara sa ibang genre. I would say um, I'm most comfortable with rom-com because you know, I did a lot. <laughs> But it, it doesn't mean that it's easy. It's really hard to make the viewers in feeling being in love and you know, make them laugh at the same time. So, sa ngayon, sa kabila ng matagumpay na karera sa pag-arte, ang aktres sa niniwalang on the way pa raw ang maituturing niyang highlight ng kanyang acting career. Uh, the highlight of my acting career is yet to come, I think. So, um, I have still have a, a lot of stories to tell, roles to play, and you know, messages to deliver. So, I'm kind of a person that, you know, acting is not a temporary job is just a um, significant part of my life so i can separate myself from it so and i think i'm at the perfect age for wide range of roles so for example in my last drama i could be a you know high school girl to university freshman and got married and divorced and even fell in love with Prince Charming. So I think my best part of back to Korea is not, not here yet. Sa huli, iniwang mensahe nito sa fellow my beans. 
I always wanted to come here in the Philippines for you guys, but I'm a little too late, so I'm really sorry about that. But now I'm here, and I wanted to say, really, I'm really, thank you so much for your love and support always. Thank you, 20 years. Ang two-day event na ito ang tumapos sa matagal na paghihintay ng fellow My Bean sa kanilang idolo. Kaya naman, ganun na lamang ang kanilang kasiyahan ng masilain in the flesh, ang beautiful and talented South Korean actress. Una raw minahal si Min Young na mapanood ito sa City Hunter. Minahal ko po siya sa City Hunter. First year high school pa lang po ako. Tapos ngayon, 12 years ko na siya minamahal at sinasuportahan. At kung ang nakakwintuhan natin si Trisha, City Hunter, ang unang nagusta ang seri ni Min Young, ito namang film ay bina si Karen May sa 2014 romance na healer unang sinubaybayan ang Korean star. Super ganda! Tapos, um, uh, kasi like, ever since uh, sa healer pa, uh, fan na talaga ako ni Park Minyang. Tapos, ang recent na napanood ko kasi is yung um, Mary May Husband. So, ngayon nakita ko na siya. Sobrang, um, sobrang saya. Pabaong mensahe nito sa kanyang idol. Hello, Park Minyang! I love you so much and thank you for coming here sa Philippines. Hindi ko in-expect talaga na makikita ko siya in person today. Maliban sa pagiging aktres, si Park Min Young ay isa ring modelo and vlogger. Taong 2020 nang nilaunch nito ang kanyang YouTube channel kung saan, minsan itong ipinasilip sa fans ang kaganapan sa isa ng photoshoot. May pa what's in my bag din ito. At ang kanyang paggawa na ang kanyang favorite crunchy pepper kimchi. At iyan ang kalahating oras ng saya at K-League na hatid ng South Korean actress na si Park Min Young sa kanyang My Brand New Day in Manila. Next week, ito naman ang dapat mong abangan. We are 1621 BC and you are watching Sinzone! Ang six-member P-pop boy group 1621 BC bumisita rito sa studio. Sina JM, JC, DJ, Mix, Win at Pan ating nakasikahan na may kasamang bukingan at siyempre kantahan. Huwag mong palalampasin yan dito lang sa Season 3 ng Scene Zone. Mula sa kauna-unaan sa Pilipinas, DZRH, ito pa ang niyong showbiz angel Angelica Cosme. Sama-sama tayo, Pilipino.